Welcome back again, everyone. This is Mike Schultz with you. We're looking at the weather and what a beautiful day it was for Memorial Day. Celebrations all around the area. A few clouds out there, but all in all, very nice temperatures around 80 degrees. That's going to be the trend all the way through the week, it looks like right now. And no real precipitation expected, no thunderstorms, just lots of warm temperatures. And you can see why on our satellite picture here. As you can see, we're looking at a little bit of activity way down to the south. But for the most part, high pressure once again, the good guy here keeping everything out and looking really good. Now, as far as temperatures go this time of year, here's what the normal high is. The normal high is 65. Well, we were up to 80 degrees today. The record high was 82 in 2011. Normal low is 42. We got down to about 49 last night, a record low, 28, 1927. And the sunrise and sunset works out to 20 hours and 12 minutes. Sunrise this morning was at 345 if you got up that early. What's going on across the rest of the state? Not too bad. You see lots of sunshine over southeast Alaska, a few clouds around Kodiak Island. Over the west side of the state, again, partly cloudy to clear skies, a little cooler around Nome. Barrow at cloudy skies 33 and Fort Yukon 77, lots of sunshine. Lower 48 weather, a little bit of activity going on, mainly in the form of showers and afternoon thunderstorms, nothing really organized, some rain across the Pacific Northwest, the Central Plains, and then over the East Coast, uh, things are looking pretty good uh, after their weekend weather where some places in Vermont and upstate New, New York got close to three feet of snow. Can you believe that? All right, here's what's going on on our satellite and radar. You can see everything's kind of diminishing in its intensity, although some more storms are developing across parts of Texas, and there's the showers over the Pacific Northwest. And the overall outlook is calling for, again, the jet stream to remain right around the middle part of the country, which means a divider of the warm, humid air to the south and the cooler, wetter air to the north, and that's going to cause for some widespread thunderstorm activity to develop. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies at Barrow, cloudy skies in Nome, and some isolated showers around the Fort Yukon area. Here in the interior, we'll be looking at a few showers possible for the Fairbanks area, mainly in the higher elevations, partly sunny skies at Healy. Over southeast Alaska, mainly cloudy skies for both Juneau and Ketchikan, while out to the southwest, it looks like uh, Rain for Cold Bay and Kodiak with cloudy skies at Bethel. And over the south central regions, Anchorage is looking at uh, sunny skies uh, all along with Valdez and Homer. And uh, not too bad, 70 degrees there. Here's your uh, pollen count for today. And once you again, you can see the trees are starting to work their way up toward the high levels. And I think tomorrow they're going to be at the high levels with, uh, once again, mold, weeds, and grass at low levels. So it's not too bad. Here's your forecast for tonight. 49 for the overnight low, partly cloudy skies, isolated showers possible. We'll do it all over again tomorrow with a high of 80 degrees, maybe even warmer possibly. And the extended forecast, you got to love these temperatures, 82, 83, all the way through Friday at least, and a little bit of cooler air moving in. Maybe some showers also in the picture. And overnight lows, once again, will be very, very warm. In fact, way above for this time of year in the low to mid 40s, even upper 40s in some areas. So it was a great day today for all the Memorial Day uh, celebrations.